What I really enjoy about it though is helping students, faculty and staff make those connections and make internationalization happen. Whether that's in the curriculum, in their courses, in um, research and partnerships around research, or whether it's in sending students overseas to have some experience that will contribute to their learning, or bringing students from overseas to Kentucky to learn. Even some of the things that we think are most Kentuckian, right, are the most global. Think about Keeneland. If you go to the crack kitchen in Keeneland, you'll hear voices from all over the hemisphere, and you may hear them from Europe, and you may hear them from Asia also. Then you go to the, you know, stands to watch the races, you'll hear voices from all over. So it's a global world. Yes. And I think students know that, their parents know that, researchers know that, and they're seeking to figure out how to be um, successful in that world. Um, so the International Centre exists basically to make sure that the university, the university citizens are supported as they go about their internationalisation work. My favourite place where I've been I think is probably Cape Town in South Africa. Yeah. Why? Because I'm of an age that I remember the struggle against apartheid. So to, for me to visit a country which has overturned in a relatively peaceful way, I'm not saying there weren't, wasn't struggle and sacrifice, but that has now emerged out of apartheid is so interesting to me to see how you build a country out of that past. I really enjoy music. So sometimes I have run into students and they've been surprised to see me at certain kinds of music venues and concerts, but I really enjoy live music a lot. And I'm quite eclectic, like I don't care if it's a symphony or if it's a band in a dive bar, I like it all. So yeah, so sometimes I've surprised people by showing up at, at music concerts they're not expecting to see me at, yeah. There is more to Kentucky than Kentucky Fried Chicken. Because half the time when you go around the world and you say to people, what do you know about Kentucky? They say, oh, KFC, you know? So I have to do some re-education about the fact that we don't eat fried chicken from breakfast, lunch, and dinner here in Kentucky. Um, but yeah, what I tell them is that we have a first-class research university here that's got the support of the state. I stress the idea that they're coming to a relatively small town. It's not a big city. It's not for everybody, but many, many students are looking for that. They don't want to be in a big city. They don't want to be in LA they would rather be somewhere like Lexington. They just don't know much about Lexington, so I talk about how multicultural it is, talk about how welcoming it is, talk about the facilities and the support services at the University of Kentucky, and try and connect them with alums from their country. And yeah, it's, it's not really a hard sell when you hit on what makes the University of Kentucky a really special place, I think. Um, and, in, and that's in addition to talking about the academic programs and the strengths that we offer, because that's the number one reason students come here, is because we're well known for their, what it is they want to study.